Welcome everyone, Christine here on Serious Gaming with a discussion about the latest version of the GeForce Experience Beta. A beta that's been going on for, what, the last half year or so, perhaps even longer. It kind of says something that the new version, with, or the new versions with the new UI, the new functionality, the 1080p 60F is streaming to Twitch and YouTube, they've all been in a beta version of GeForce Experience. There's bugs, there's glitches, there's issues, and people... Quite a few people aren't too happy with the way it works, uh, with with what NVIDIA is doing. There are even rumors, or NVIDIA statements, I think, uh, saying that they would basically force you to use this program if you want to get driver updates. And here's the new version. You have to log in if you want to use it. That's a great start. Before, you didn't have to log in. You didn't have to create an NVIDIA account and use it. Uh, to uh, basically use the program. You didn't have to do that. You did have to do it if you wanted to actually get driver updates, but that's you know not important. You could use Shadowplay. I personally use Shadowplay because Shadowplay is the single best recording program out there when it comes to the trade-off between performance, visual quality, and file size. It's got the lo one of the lowest file sizes out there. It's got excellent visual quality, not, th not as good as, say, DX Story, some some formats in the extory or fraps but it's got minimal performance impact which does count for a bit in fact the latest version this latest version of the beta actually decreases the performance impact of the program perhaps it would be better if they separated shadow play from geforce experience instead of forcing us to deal with this bloody schlock because i don't care about driver download for this program and I would absolutely hate it as would a lot of people if they forced it, us to use this for driver updates. And I don't care about game optimization. I know why they push it. They want to make it easier for people to, who are transitioning to PC game or people who are new to it uh, to you know optimize their game. They know a lot of people don't care about video settings. So hey, let's make a program. Let's put the effort into optimizing your game so that uh, they, they run very well. That's good. But I don't care about it. There are many, many other people who don't care about that functionality. The one thing I do care about is right here. The share functionality. Instant replay, don't care about that. But I do use it for all my video recordings, local recordings specifically. You've got up to 4K recording if your monitor can handle that. If you've got a computer capable of handling that at uh, close to 130 megabytes per second, 60 FPS for local recordings. I'm not using it to record this video because I don't want to actually show the UI and some things would be restrictive if I was uh, using GeForce Experience to record this. Uh, then you've got Twitch or YouTube 1080p, 60 FPS up to nine megabytes per second, which is actually pretty good given the fact that YouTube videos generally don't go above 25 megabytes per second, give or take. A lot of people actually do uh, the recordings are lower than that. YouTube itself recommends 16 for 1080p or 16 to 50. So 9 megabytes per second is pretty good. It's obviously not the best quality out there, but it's, it's really good streaming uh, quality. Anyway, the problem, however, the issue that I have, there's two issues. First and foremost, the new UI sucks. I'm not the only one who's saying this. People have hated this thing ever since they introduced it. Quite a few people. They don't like this new share uh, UI. It's like, oh, overlay, FPS counter status indicator. One of the things is like, it seems to be made for what? The Nvidia Shield for tablets, for touchscreens. But how many people would actually use a touchscreen or the Nvidia Shield with this? I mean, yes, they're pushing that whole game stream capability with the Nvidia Shield and all that, but how many people would actually care about that when it comes to Nvidia Shadowplay? I'm just saying, how many people would care about that? One of the issues I have is like, this is the clear indicator this is designed for tablet touchscreens, like just the... Like just the just the way you select your uh, recording folder, right? Just saying, like this clearly indicative of something, and it's not the regular desktop PC. Wait, so that's one problem. The other problem, what is the other problem? The other problems that people have been asking for certain options when it comes to Shadowplay, when it comes to share. 
audio options. People have been asking for separate tracks when it comes to in-game sound versus the microphone sound. People have been asking for a microphone mute button, which is apparently so difficult to implement for a company that rakes in billions of dollars each year in revenue. I mean, they had the micro... The, the best part is they actually had the microphone mute button and much older versions of chat of GeForce Experience, then they removed it in favor of push to talk and haven't been able to put it back in. Like yes, you can enable uh, you can enable it and disable it, but there's no key bind for this. No really. There's no key bind for this. You can use an auto hotkey script and that's actually what I personally use. You can use that. Like say for instance uh, my my push to talk key is uh, subtract, right? Activate push to talk. So what you do is create, you create an auto hotkey script that basically acts as if you're holding down that button for all the issues that cause. Because again, it's so fucking difficult to make that option toggable with a key bind. Another thing they haven't had is like just options when it comes to streaming that's one of the big things that amd with their amd raptor the direct competitor to Shadowplay, has that nvidia just falls flat on its face when it comes to those options they have the ability for you to chat with the people who are watching the stream in game you have that overlay they show for how long you've been recording for instance and they show how many viewers are watching your stream now nvidia did that that option but just that option it took them a long time to do that my point is this, I use this program for my work, right? It's the best recording program out there. But NVIDIA does not give a fuck to properly improve it. And, you know, the improvements we've gotten have taken a, a tremendous long time. And it seems they're more focused on this shitty new UI and forcing us to use a worsening program. I don't care about optimization. I don't care to create an NVIDIA account. I really, really don't want to deal with that. I would just prefer to use the program separately for all the advantages it brings. Because really, at the moment, with all the instability, they've created a great deal of instability in the program. Not just, you know, it's not just that I hate uh, the UI changes and all that. It's the fact that it's buggy, it's unstable. You don't know if it's going to work or if it's not going to work. You don't know if it's going to crash on you or not. Quite a few problems when it comes to that. Hell, there's even problems installing the fucking thing. I had problems installing this version of the beta. Wonderful job, NVIDIA. Really, I get it. It's a beta. It's gonna have issues. It's gonna have bugs. But for how fucking long are you gonna keep this in a beta? I mean, it's been in a beta for half a year. Not this particular version, but the versions with the new UI for Shadowplay or Share, as they took to calling it after, have been in beta for a what seems like be, what's getting close to a year at this point really that's how long it's like a year that's how long they're gonna keep perhaps even longer than a year keeping it in a beta state because they don't know what the hell they're doing and they don't care to listen to the people that use their fucking program the most the people who record videos have been giving them feedback. They ask for feedback. Well, here's feedback. Separate fucking share. Separate the recording program from GeForce Experience. Don't force us to use it. Because quite frankly, a lot of us don't give a fuck about it. And give us overlay options. Like say AMD Raptor has. Give us volume options. Give us audio options that we want. Microphone audio options. Microphone mute separate tracks between audio and game sound or just you know computer sound right separate tracks for all of that and that would be great that would be phenomenal you if you do that you might just end up having the best recording program out there if you give us more options options people have been asking for uh, for a very long time then you would have one of the best recording programs out there on all levels. The one place it falls flat on its face is when it comes to the options that you have available in the program. It does have the best performance of any recording program out there on the market. It is exclusive to NVIDIA, so if you have an AMD card you can't use it obviously. But it is very good. It's one of the main reasons I you know, use an NVIDIA card and would be very hard-pressed to actually switch to an AMD card because it is that good of a program. 
but it's bare bones, especially when it comes to streaming options. We would like the ability to, for, say for instance, name our streams before we go into them. Like, people will watch me stream stuff. Notice that at the start, there's a pause, an immediate pause. That's because I'm all topping to name my stream. And, well, monetize it and all that. The ability to do that before starting the stream would be very much welcome, NVIDIA. I'm just saying, instead of having stuff automatically named for us on YouTube and on Twitch. Making that point, making that fucking argument. Costine here on Serious Gaming, signing out. I really, really hope that they don't force us to use GeForce Experience. Even as someone who has it installed and will continue to use it, I really hope they don't force us to use it for updates. Because this program has so many issues when it comes to updates. You really don't want to use this for updates. You want to download those separately on your own. As someone who has been using this for quite a while now, you really don't want to use this one for up for updating your drivers. Kwasin here on Serious Gaming, signing out.